The new book, Free Fall, by Alex Segura, covers Poe's time spent with the Spice Runners of Kajimi, the gang introduced in The Rise of Skywalker. Now we know a lot more about the mysterious group and what led to their rise and fall in the galaxy. Today that's what I'll cover, and there will be some spoilers for the book ahead. The Pike Syndicate controlled most of the spice trade throughout the Clone Wars and the Galactic Civil War. When the Republic transitioned into the Empire, the Mining Guild took over much of the spice trade but allowed the Pikes to continue their operations. When the Empire fell at the Battle of Jakku, the infrastructure surrounding the Mining Guild fell apart, and so did protection for the Pikes. Chaos engulfed the criminal underworld, and the spice runners of Kajimi were ready to take advantage of it. They began as a coalition of thieves, murderers, smugglers, and various scoundrels that would attack any ship carrying spice they could find. On top of that nuisance, the Pikes had to deal with smaller groups that they once controlled who fought for their own slice of the pie. As they lost their grip on the trade they once completely controlled, they made deals with the Spice Runners to stop attacking their shipments and instead officially make their own. Over a decade after the rise of the New Republic, the Pikes were still a strong force but not nearly as influential as they once were. The Spice Runners of Kajimi had become notorious in the criminal underworld. The New Republic Security Bureau was well aware of them and the problems they caused for innocence in the Outer Rim, but they were spread too thin to effectively provide any real solutions. The new government was more focused on protecting their precious core worlds, and so criminal activity thrived in the Mid-Rim and beyond. The Spice Runners were led by the ruthless Ziva Bliss, who groomed her daughter Zori to become her successor. But Zori had grown fond of one of the newer members of their gang, a young Poe Dameron who had joined as an escape from his sheltered life on Yavin 4. Eventually, Poe's conscience got the better of him, and he betrayed the Spice Runners to save a group of rival smugglers that Ziva had scheduled for execution. When Ziva attempted to kill Poe, Zori saved his life, and while it's unclear for now, she likely usurped her mother's position as leader of the Spice Runners. The chaos of that one act ruined the momentum of the Spice Runners of Kajimi, and 16 years later they had yet to recover to their full glory. And that's about everything the book tells us about the Spice Runners, their origins, and their downfall. If you want to check free Fallout for yourself, consider picking it up for free on Audible. Just follow the link in the description or visit www.audibletrial.com slash Star Wars Explained. The audiobook is out right now, and the production value on all the Star Wars books is very high with sound effects and music. It's like listening to a movie. Signing up for an Audible trial will get you a credit for one free book, and you can use it on Free Fall or just about any Star Wars book you can think of. Or get any book you want. The point is, you get a free book, and you'll be supporting the channel when you do. But that's it for today. If you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and consider checking out our Patreon page. As always, thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.